Welcome to today's vlog. We are still down in Southern Utah. We are going to lunch today with my family. I want to do a little Q&A with my sister. Hi, Coco. How are you doing? Oh, I love you. Oh, we're going down. And we also are gonna do some measurements for something for the house that I'll talk about in just a second. But I do wanna say thank you to Ring for sponsoring today's video. It's always perfect when Ring wants to work with us and we're coming down here because that's the security system that we use. Easy to install, super easy to use. You can set it up in like minutes and the app is also very user friendly. So Parker can kind of show you guys that a little bit later in the vlog. But something that we need to do right now is actually measure the whole entire house. Oh, we got window tint on the windows. Parker just opened the door and you guys can see how much brighter it is. Uh, yeah. I admit it, I made a mistake on the window I'm gonna, tint. I'm gonna try pulling off that one. Yeah, we got it on, did we see this in the last vlog? We already did a different vlog here. I think we might have, but anyways, we have it on these windows and this yeah. door. And I picked too dark of a shade, I think. So that's another thing that's we wanna do. That's part of our spring cleaning and stuff that we need to get done. Yeah, we're doing a little spring cleaning. I decided to do kind I of like a, a Yes, a little spring refresh. So indoor and outdoor. Yeah, I think we talked about that in the last vlog. Yeah. We haven't edited that one yet, so I don't remember because that was like four days ago. But I decided, so we've like shown you guys how we decorated this house and everything, but it's not like 100% done. Like this wall over here is still blank. This picture over here is way too small. I don't love that plant right there. So I texted Amy, who is designing our new house we're building up in Salt Lake, and she also furnished our current house. So I texted her and I was like, hey, I would also love if you styled our house down here. So we don't really need like furniture pieces. We might get like one or two things if there's like a spot for it and we need it. But I think it'll mostly be just a couple little like decor things. Like this shelf right here has literally like two things on it that I just threw on there. So we're gonna get kind of just a few like decor pieces. In Cove's room, there's like nothing on the walls. I showed this in the last vlog too. We showed setting up her toddler bed. Guess what? She hasn't touched it even one time. So this is the girls room currently. I also wanna have Amy do some blackout curtains, I think. We literally just have like a sheet thing like stuck up in the window. So we set this up for Cove and then literally she has not even touched it. She like, every night we're like, do you wanna sleep in your big girl bed? She says no, she wants to sleep in the crib. So she's been in there and Lola's been in the pack and play in our room. So yeah, not too many changes in like all the rooms, but just like some art on the walls and stuff like that. Our guest room over here. I just want like something cute for right there. And these plants don't really like make sense over there because they're kind of short and then something above bed. Yeah, I'm super excited for that. So I'm gonna go around and send Amy measurements for everything. Usually she would come and like measure it all, but she doesn't live here. So I told her, oh no, there's a crying baby. So I told her I would send her measurements for all the different areas. We're gonna do that. I think it's like 9.30, it's 9.41 right now. And we have lunch with my family at 11. We're gonna get that done, which will be super nice. And I'm excited to just have like everything kind of finished. So that was like the best thing I ever did was having Amy do our house up north because then I haven't really changed very many things since we had it done, so. What? What's this cute little baby uh, doing in here? Hi, cute little baby. Do you want mom to get you out? Okay, mama's gonna get you. So like Aspen said, I am going to show you some of the new things that Ring sent us. As you guys know, this is our second home, so it's super important that we have a really good security system. And with Ring, they have whole home security for peace of mind day and night. It's super nice to know, even in the middle of the night when we're not here, maybe we uh, haven't been here for a couple weeks and something, uh, the alarm goes off, first responders are gonna come no matter what. Whether you're here or whether you're not, they're gonna show up and make sure everything is okay which obviously gives us a lot of peace of mind knowing that our house is taken care of and watched over even when we're not here so this is the new ring alarm pro with a built-in Eero Wi-Fi 6 router which is super convenient because it has better Wi-Fi connectivity for everyday streaming and network security when you get a notification of like someone walking around in your backyard or something if you click on the notification if you don't have a good connection it takes a minute to pull up that stream and show you 
believe that there's someone in there. We've had some kids, some neighbor kids, throw a ball over into our backyard. When they jump in, it's nice because it'll pull up the uh, app and show me the camera right away so I know that it's just a neighborhood kid and I don't have to sound the alarm. You wanna go outside? going outside. So I wanted to show you a little bit of what we have. So this is like the security base that connects to the rest of the security system. And then you have contact sensors that you can put on windows and doors. So I wanted to show you, this is something that we like whenever a door opens. The keypad right here makes a chime. So anytime a door or a window opens, we know that someone's coming in. So we have that keypad. We have contact sensors on every door and every window. We have the ring security base system right here. And I have cameras on every corner of the house. We have a camera inside. So I can see everything in the palm of my hand. So this is what the app looks like. As you can see, I've got all the cameras that I can see in one spot and then I can dis arm, arm at home, or arm it away all right here with a push of a button. You can see right here, Cove and Luma are actually running around playing in the backyard. So I just got a notification that there's some motion on the back camera. That's a little bit about our security system. So anyways, I'm gonna have a link to Ring right down in the description. Make sure you guys check it out if you want a good security system for your home. So now we're gonna finish cleaning up the house a little bit and I think Aspen's gonna go get some food with her sister and do a little Q&A. Oh, it wasn't going yet. Oh. All right, next part of the vlog, sister Q&A. Yeah! Taking a break from the kids. We came to get smoothies. I look bald too. You like can't see my bun at all because mm -hmm. the top of my hair is so dark and then my bun is back there. And we're gonna answer questions. I think we probably haven't done a sister q and in at least a year. I think the last time we did it was at mom's and we ordered Indian food yeah. and that was a long time ago. Yeah, that was like probably a year ago. Probably more. More, for sure. Um, okay. Why are you making it cold? Oh, that's hot. <laughs> it's cold outside and we're drinking cold smoothies. Yeah. First question, how often do we see each other and hang out? Not as often as we would both like, I think. Mm -hmm. I was gonna say once a month, but I feel like even it's, that is less, It's that's too much. It just depends. I feel like sometimes we'll have weeks where we see each other more. If it's like holidays or birthdays or like shoots or something. Yeah. But then we sometimes like go a long time without seeing each other. Lately. Yeah, because I've been bored <laughs> and I need kids and my sister to entertain me. Yeah, we had a fun day the other day when you came down. Yeah, and, and I was there the all day. day. <laughs> that was really fun though. We had it was a girls fun. day. Who is more extroverted? Probably, I wouldn't even say I'm super extroverted. I just get to a point where where I get so bored where I feel like I have to go out and do things. Yeah, I was gonna say you. I feel like I just like to stay home. Like I'm past that point in my life where I like wanna go out and do a lot of like stuff that I don't have to do. Yeah, it's and like you're you at the kids. point where you like are just getting into all that, like wanting to go out and just like find anything to do. Yeah. And I feel like even just your personality, you are more like outgoing than me anyways. Like not, I wouldn't even say ton. I'm more extroverted because I think we're both super introverted in the way that we like recharge when we're alone or at yeah, home. Yeah, I think so too. But I think that you just put your like would put yourself out there more than me. Mm -hmm. Like I really only kind of do when I have to. If it's something other than like just going out with my friend. Like I'm thinking if I took Cove to like the museum with my friends or something. Like that's very comfortable. But I feel like you go do a lot of like clubs more, and bars yeah, and more <laughs> uncomfortable things. Whereas I like never wanted to really do that. Which one of us is most like mom? Me. You think? I yeah. don't really know. I'm sweet and nice. But I think we both have traits of her. I think yeah. I have more of like her personality like, like that. But then, Yeah. Yeah, I think so too. But then mom can, she's also, mom is very like organized. And I think I've gotten a lot better at that, but I think you've just always been super type A. Yeah. <laughs> you think I haven't gotten more organized? Um, I don't know. Who is actually the funnier sister? I think, I think it's TikTok me. TikTok has gone to your <laughs> ego. <laughs> that's what's happening. Well, I mean, I just think I'm really, f like, I make myself laugh all the time. Like, I just think I'm genuinely really funny, but you do have some really good TikToks. I also think I'm really funny. But, like, I don't think I'm actually, like, a funny person. Like, you know people that it's like, oh, that's, like, that person's really funny. You, like, make, yeah. I don't think that about me. But I do laugh in my You have, jokes. yeah, you have, like, a very, like, subtle sense of humor that's kind of, like, I feel like it kind of, not, like, catches like, people hilarious. off guard, but it's kind of, like, oh, like, you wouldn't expect that from her. Has your bond gotten stronger as you've gotten older? Oh, for sure. I think, yeah. I feel like we've also had things that have brought us together more in weird ways. Like, mm -hmm. I think once you have kids, we got closer. Yeah. When I broke up with my boyfriend, I think we also got closer. But yeah, we really quick. we hated each other growing up. We didn't hate each other. But we had our moments. You hated me. How do you feel about having two nieces? It's the best thing 
ever. Like, I, know. I genuinely it's can't so even express how much joy that they bring me. And it's literally like, I ask you for photos every single day if you yeah. don't already send them. She's constantly sending me videos and pictures. And they love me too, which is like nice. Yeah. Like, Cove is my and little Cove bestie. Loves and meets. Mm -hmm. If they didn't like me, it probably like wouldn't be as fun. Yeah, yeah I feel like it's perfect because we were always like, I feel like just such like a girl gang. Mm -hmm. Like, me, you, mom, grandma, Sienna. Sienna. Like, we always just had, it was always Both like, our the grandmas. Girls. Yeah. Girl Early gang. girls. Film more content together we need more sister content because you're so different and we love it i picked this one because i just think it's so funny how people are so obsessed with like different sisters i know we're because we are different that. but i don't think we're that different yeah we're really not like when it comes to a lot of core things we're very very similar like yeah. when we see things that are weird we both think it's weird mm -hmm. like we dress very different and we're also just in super s different stages of our lives which makes it seem even more different yeah i feel like people forget there's a lot of people ask like what our age gap is and it's six years which really is so far and i always thought like oh i kind of like it because we're in different phases of life but then now seeing my girls even though they're so little only being two years apart i'm like i kind of wish that we were closer in age because we would have just like been even closer like doing more of those same things yeah because i keep seeing that ellie girl and her sister that went to europe oh yeah <laughs> and I'm like that's gonna oh be my, God, my kids my girls. and they went with their mom right yeah and their mom always goes with them too yeah so it's gonna be me cove and lola traveling europe and so we'll work meeps. out i am aunt meeps and the single our cool mom. aunt that tags along mm -hmm. <laughs> to all the trips and that'll be good because it well as i said that would be an even number of four but mom yeah. would come, so at five. But then Parker we would also want to come, come, so it'd be six. But then so mom would good. maybe want to bring Luke. So be <laughs> seven. I don't know, but what was the question? Oh yeah. Anyways, we're not really like that different. I just think it's funny how people are like. I think our styles are just like the most different. Like those TikToks we made at Christmas when we were dressed yeah. super different. Yeah. People ate those up. <laughs> yeah, they did. But what jobs would you do if you didn't do YouTube? I wouldn't be good at this, but I think it would be so fun to be an interior designer. I'd be good at that, especially in Utah. Well, I would, maybe if I like went to school, I could have like picked up. The the vision for it, but I said earlier in this vlog because I'm having the designer that did our house up north do this house, mm -hmm. just like kind of decorate it. Mm -hmm. And I feel like she just has such a fun, cool job, so I would love that. Yeah, I think you'd be good but at it. You and mom both have really that. good mom would be eyes for interior design. I feel like I don't. Mom does though. I would love to do some kind of creative directing for like photo shoots or even for like beauty brands, fashion brands, stuff yeah. like that. I feel like I could be good at just because I love to like do that for myself. Yeah. That's why I need to learn how to use a camera better because the amount of ideas and stuff that I have that I just don't do because I don't know how to shoot them. Yeah. Do you like the names I picked for Cove and Lula since our aesthetics? I can never say that word. Aesthetics? Aesthetic. Aesthetics. I do like them. Mm -hmm. I think they're cute. I love that think? they're different. Like, I love that Cove is different. Love is a yeah. little bit more common, but I yeah. feel like it's so fitting for her. I feel like at first a lot of people were like, oh my God, you named your baby Cove? Like, what? Yeah. But now I think ev like everyone loves it. I think people what are did just you being first, haters. Do you remember what you first thought? I think when... I told you that I liked it. Yeah, you get, like told me all of your hints. And I was like, signs, yeah, that's yeah. so cute. Biggest fight we've ever had. <laughs> I don't know if you want to answer since we figured out that I was right and you were wrong. No. <laughs> I think we found out the opposite. I she was it. a beep. And then we didn't talk for a couple months. How did we meet? <laughs> You probably like went to the hospital when I was born. I don't remember. <laughs> I remember when you were born. Really? But I don't remember like actually meeting I you. I just remember we got dinner from this one place and I remember being in our old like first house that my parents built. I don't remember that remember house that at day. all. Yeah, because you were like zero. What are you most excited about for my new house? The hot tub, probably. You know I have a hot tub now, right? Yeah, but it's not like a... Well, same. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Your pool and hot tub probably, I think, will mm -hmm. just be fun. How does it feel being related to a TikTok star? It's really fun. I don't know. Sometimes people just use me for it. <laughs> this one says, for you. Mm -hmm. Did I change since becoming a mom? Yeah. How? You're a lot nicer. I mean, we're obviously sisters. And so I think we just kind of butt heads. Not yeah. all the time. But I feel like we just didn't really have as much, like, respect and compassion for each other. Yeah. And I think now that we're both just older and, like, you have kids, which is obviously... I've said that, like, a million times. It's, like, everybody already knows you have kids. But yeah. it's such a hard job. Yeah. Like, even yesterday, Parker was out golfing. And so you were taking care of the girls. And just, like, seeing you, like, hauling them both around. I know. Like, I, like, get to my grandma's and I'm texting everyone. I'm like, can you help me? Yeah, and like I obviously do. I'm like, I just couldn't even imagine having yeah. them. That's why I love having nieces because I like them when I see them, but if I had to deal with them all the time, yeah, I wouldn't be able to. Does Avery ever steal your clothes? We haven't lived together in six, 
and a half years probably. And apparently you did and I never knew that you did. No, I remember one time, well, here's the thing. Mom would help me steal your clothes. Literally yeah. when you were sleeping, we would go in your room. When I was sleeping? Yes. I'm the lightest sleeper ever. No, How we many would times go did you do that? A good handful of times. At night? No, in the morning, before school. You Mom, were not up before me. Yes, I was. Sometimes, very I rarely. I would get up so early. Or you would be gone. Yeah, this says I can't get my little sis to stop. Help, please. I don't have any advice, but I feel like if Just we let her were, borrow it. Oh, I, see, I was going to say that that's like a boundary for me, that if we were in the situation where we actually like lived together in recent times... I would be like, don't steal my clothes. Really? I just have never I seen just that like, as a big deal. I think just like, you know when friends, well, do you let I your think friends, friends borrow are different. your clothes? Friends are very different for me. Okay, I guess because that's Because that true. is definitely a boundary. I don't I don't like when my friends borrow my clothes, no. Okay, that's but true. But if it was a sister, it because it's like we live in the same space. I know that space. I would get it back yeah. because you can't just like ghost me because you're my sister. But a friend could like not answer you or like be really annoying. So yeah, I would share with you, but I wouldn't share, I wouldn't let friends borrow clothes. Yeah, I, I literally think it's two totally different things because mm -hmm. I've had a lot of like experiences with literally that. Friends borrowing my stuff, not bringing it back, keeping it forever. Did you ever have a crush on Parker? No. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember no. your first impression of him? You met him probably multiple times before he was ever like my boyfriend. Cause we were like mm -hmm. friends first. So it's not like, oh, I'm meeting my sister. I boyfriend. think one of my was, first like, my memories of him was his birthday. When dad when made he, him that cake. Yeah. yeah. And I just thought he was just kind of like goofy. <laughs> yeah, he is. <laughs> and then that one time I walked in on you. <laughs> What's going you Parker, on? Making out. Did we fight a lot growing up? We didn't like fight, but sometimes we just really didn't get along. And you would do some like really mean things to me. And I feel like I was always yes. really nice See, it's so you. funny as the older sister, you just like don't remember that stuff because yeah. it just like wasn't as big of a deal, at least like for me. How was meeting Cove and Lola for the first time? You um, watched Cove be born. Mm -hmm. So Yeah, which was really fun. I watched, I think it was like when Lola was born, I watched the vlog of Cove being born and it was so ugly. You were? Yes. Mm -hmm. I'll have to show you. That wasn't I that had, long ago. No, I know. That's why I literally saw myself and I was like, oh, but yeah, that was fun. I filmed her birth video Yeah. and shot a bunch of pictures. So it was really fun to be in there. The first time I met Lola was maybe like a week and a half or two weeks after she was born. She was just yeah. tiny and, and you brought was me asleep groceries. the whole time. Yeah, and yeah. I brought you groceries. Was it hard being on YouTube and Instagram so young? Do you regret any of it? How old were you when you started? I was 14. I was 13. Okay, so we've both been on... I've been on for like 11 years. How many have you been on? Six. No, Ooh. more than that. 100. Almost seven, because I'm almost going to be 20. No, because that And I was... started when I was 13. But I got married six years ago. I guess maybe that sounds right. I feel like it wasn't hard being on there so young. It was a different time back then. Mm -hmm. Times are so different now. I would be way more worried now for like a younger person starting because same. people are so mean. And of course there was like mean comments back then. But not too, like but how it, it is now. Same. Yeah, it was just like the world was not as sensitive. And I think just being, I was watching videos the other day from, I think I was married. So not even like that long ago. Mm -hmm. But I just was like randomly watching my own videos. And it just is crazy like how much I put out on the internet that I'm like, I have no idea. Like, I don't remember. So I don't regret it, but I'm like, it is kind of crazy that like, I was just putting these things out there. Yeah. When I was so young that like now you look back and I'm like I have no idea what I was saying or like if I think the same now or anything. For Avery again, is Aspen more like her TikTok self or her YouTube self in person? I'm not that different on TikTok. I don't think you are either. I, think I just think just YouTube sometimes... is like you just that's not like a space to like make that kind of I like know. Content. People keep being like, Oh, are you gonna make your YouTube content like funny like your TikTok? I did the one that's like major bag alert or whatever with Parker and people were like, Oh, why don't we see this in the vlogs? And I'm like, Why would you what? <laughs> dancing in the vlogs yeah, yeah i mean I, I think like i feel like you've both. always been very like authentic for the most part yeah like youtube is more just like day-to-day -day, like you're not more serious but like kind of how is life lately good living chilling I'm not here living though yeah i'm not here living though <laughs> this sounds funny without the real sound yeah it's not <laughs> especially when you're tone dabbing off key oh, i know <laughs> i don't know i feel like my life is good it's just so busy That's how like, i, I too. really have to have things to look forward to just like in general and so i I feel like I keep having so many things like that, which is good, but it's just like so many. Like I literally have something, I have play dates for Cove every Friday for the next three weeks. Oh, that's fun. Birthday party, I have a friend, hanging out with friends on Friday, like so many things. Getting, We're getting facials. Mm -hmm. this next week just so much stuff. i've just been traveling it's a lot good. that's it's like busy. my thing to look forward to is traveling yeah. i wish that was mine like well, i'm I have going a to la trips. twice next month one with kennedy if you guys know her yeah. i just got back from new york like even right now like this is i mean this is my hometown so it's not like traveling yeah. but it's like being away it's a from trip. yeah it's like time to be mm -hmm. with family and stuff who is more dramatic slash emotional thought it was you but then i was like wait it's me yeah yeah 
yeah i can be dramatic i think but it's oh it's always over like dumb stuff oh i was gonna say yours has to be a big deal for you to be dramatic and i'm dramatic oh. over dumb stuff. oh maybe i don't know <laughs> can you guys please do a photo shoot together like when you were younger i thought that'd be fun that would for be a fun. video we need to like recreate some of the pictures mm -hmm. that'd be fun let's do that in the like the spring when yeah. it's kind of warm okay that was the last one i screenshot at so i'm seeing if there's anything else how do you feel about avery's lifestyle good <laughs> yeah like my traveling lifestyle? the photo shoots i do the people i hang out with um, i think it's fun as long as you make good choices mm -hmm. i do yeah i feel like it's good i feel like it's fun i think it's so important when you're young to like go which you don't want to have kids young and like get married young like i did either way i feel like it's so important when you're young to like really live it up like while you can like at whatever age i guess just like before you have kids like so many people in utah just get married and have kids like so fast which is great but if you haven't like done anything else really it's hard to like go back after it's that. hard yeah like and i can still travel with my kids like i want to but also i'm like if i go to europe for 10 days i kind of want to leave them <laughs> <laughs> like, it's totally different when you have kids so i feel like it's good that you're like doing all these fun things while you can even though obviously you're not like planning to have like you don't know what you want to do eventually you know but yeah. yeah i think it's good to yolo basically yeah exactly is that it yeah okay this has Thanks been sister q a do you guys think we look alike i feel like i've been getting a lot of comments saying that we look alike more someone said that on my tiktok i think i think no though see you back at home and we are home and i'm sitting here editing this video and getting it finished up. I feel like that trip down there was really nice. It was really refreshing. It was nice to get some fresh air, get some sun. I played a lot of golf, which was really fun. So yeah, it's always nice to go down and spend some time at our other house down in Southern Utah. Before I end the vlog, I wanted to say thank you again to Ring for sponsoring today's video. Now that we're home, I am able to check on our house in the palm of my hand right here. Thank you again to Ring make sure you check the link in the description subscribe and we will see you in our next video bye guys